Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today I want to talk a little bit about what's been going on with my last video and why I'm so pissed off at this idiot for what he did. Stick around and I'll explain all that to you. Okay guys, so here's here's my last video about this idiot. Trevor Jacobs plane crash, new information about the engine. Okay, there was some comments on here about you can't you can't go by right here. Look, this is one six hours ago, this coal aviation. Okay, you can't go by a picture or video from five years ago. People have engine swaps all the time. I do agree with that wholeheartedly. I sure do. In fact, I mentioned it in the video. And not only that, right above here, hmm, look at this, right above here, this might not have anything to do with him, but if it does, it's very interesting. Hmm. I'll be darn. Whoa, coal aviation. Uh, let's see here. You're right. People have engine swaps all the time, but check this out. What do we got here? Okay. Uh, Trevor Jacob, right here. Oh, this is his plane, right here. There's the end number. All right, so, uh, BL-65, which the L stands for the Lyco engine, Lycoming engine. All right. Um, so he registered the certificate issue date, January 3rd, 2022. Now, he crashed that plane, what was it, um, November... 23rd November 24th one of them two days all right well let's see something here let me see what's it say right down here what's that engine manufacturer it's got the Lyco engine in it 0-145B series hmm now do you see my point see my point Mr. Cole Aviation um First of all, you know, he crashed the plane when it wasn't even registered to him. He registers it, what, a month and a week, almost a month and a half after the crash? Hmm. That doesn't make sense either. And he registers it with this engine, which was totally not in that plane. Okay? It was totally not in that plane. Now... What's the significance? Well, the significance is that um, in order for him to change that engine, he would have to have a licensed mechanic do it. This is not an experimental aircraft, certified aircraft. And in order for that to happen, it would have to undergo some um, inspections, which according to what people are saying, this plane was in disrepair. Right? So now, if this plane was in disrepair, then it would not have passed inspection. Therefore, he wouldn't have been able to put it up in the air. I think that's why he was trying to make that Continental engine look like the Lyco. Okay, that's, that's what that whole video was about. No matter how many times I repeat myself, uh, a couple people was complaining about I repeated myself too many times well you know uh, apparently I didn't because this guy still didn't get it <laughs> this guy right here is coal aviation come on man so you know so I'm proving my point why why would you still register it with that engine why you know why the engine swap we all know he did that on purpose why would you swap the engine if that was a bad engine you know, why not just crash it? Doesn't make any sense to me. Why not just crash it? You know? But I do believe his his experimental plane has a Lightning engine in it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Well, at least that's what it was registered with. So, anyway. Does it have anything to do with it? I don't know. But I do know he swapped an engine and it was not registered with that engine. He did not, you know, I mean, come on. There's just too many red flags here. Um, why I think he crashed it? 
Well, not only because he's a, a stupid douchebag. Well, okay, let's let's look at his channel here. Okay, his channel's not doing that great. You know, he's got some some high view videos, but you know, down here a year ago, there's a thousand, there's a thousand, there's uh, twenty seven thousand. You know, he goes up here, there's eighteen thousand, twenty. You know, kind of goes up and down, kind of like mine. Now, now there's one. 516,000, that did pretty good. You know, that's a half a million views. All right. But and then he comes up here, it was 81,000, 32,000, it started dropping. Then he brought his dog with him. Bad idea. Almost crashed. He was fear for his life. 111,000. Hmm, that jumped up. And then back down to 15, 16, 4.9. You know, there's 100,000, not bad, 108. And then back down to 17,000, 12,000, 69,000, eh, you know, not bad, but 10,000. I don't think his numbers are that great, if you ask me, for somebody with, you know, 131,000 subscribers. But, you know, he has, a, he has some in here. There's 10,000. He's ready to fight MMA. Uh, <laughs> bring it on, dude. Okay, so the reason why I'm getting at all these, there's one. That did pretty good. 2.9 million. Okay. But, as you can see, you got 50,000, 58,000. Now you dropped all at once from video to video, 13,000. Then 36,000. But then you got 17,000. This one did okay. 421,000. But 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 27,000, 50,000. So it started going up started going up all right now i gotta do something big because i got this ridge wallet sponsorship now bam 1.5 million views okay now the reason why i'm so ticked off at him is because he 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 just he threw that plane down i don't care you don't jump out of a plane like that um in a national forest come on trevor you idiot in a national force, I, I'll do what I want because I'm I'm Trevor Jacob. I really don't care. I really don't care. He let that plane go. He just jumped out of it. You can't tell me you can predict where a plane, an unmanned plane, is going to crash because you can't. That's a national. That's in a national force. So there's hiking trails all around there. There's campsites all around there. And you're going to tell me you knew that plane wasn't going to hit anybody? You're an idiot. And you're a bigger idiot if you think I'm going to buy it because I'm not, Trevor. You are an idiot. And, yes, I think, you know, everything, every law he broke needs to be addressed. And he shouldn't be able to walk away from, from something like this. I mean, come on. It's illegal to throw something out of a plane to the ground. Well, what's the legality when you're throwing your whole damn plane to the ground? doesn't make sense. I mean, look at this. He, his channel wasn't doing that great. I mean, come on. Then he gets a sponsorship, and all at once, bam, 1.5 million views. He's going to do something special with that plane. Hey, yeah, he sure did, didn't he? But, you know, this is just my take on it. I've got more, more about this idiot, this scumbag. Yeah, and I'm going to stay on him, too, because all this, this is all my opinion. You know, this is all my opinion. So I, I, I don't want to hear no bullshit from these Trevor lovers about, you know, oh, you're just jealous because he's got a bigger channel. No, I'm not. I'm all for channels getting big and doing well and successful. That's great. But when you act like you're better than me and you can just go break the law any damn time you want, yeah, I get a little pissed about that. I mean, all this stuff is just clickbait, you know. I mean, I, I never even heard of him until... It popped up on my channel that, you know, somebody crashed their plane. Well, you know, I watch a lot of plane crashes, vid crash videos. And, I mean, you know, how to deal with insecurity, blah, blah, blah. What, you know, I removed my tattoo. Who gives a crap, dude? Why'd you even get it? You know, it's just, that's my take on it. That's my opinion. All these videos are my opinion. You know, so you Trevor lovers, kiss my ass. I don't care what you think. I, you know, I don't need your one view. I don't need it. Just stay off my channel. You know, 
uh, I leave the comments on because I, I like to see people, you know, talk amongst themselves and try to figure this out and, and give information because I've got a lot of good information from, from guys on here, you know. There was a guy that commented on, on, I believe it was this one. I mean, he actually flew this exact plane and it had that Lyco engine in it. But, you know, right there it proves... You know, he changed the engine for some reason, and he didn't do it legally. That right there is against the law. You know, if I go out and break the law, I get in trouble. I got to pay for it. Why don't he? He's nobody special. He's nobody special. So stay tuned for more on this jack leg because, you know, I'm not going to let it rest. I, you know, I can't wait until this investigation's done because they're going to find out. You know, this was done on purpose. You, you can't just crash a plane like that. Even making a movie, you can't just go out and crash it. I mean, you you have to get permits to do that, especially into a national park in California, a national forest in California where all the wildfires have been going on and stuff. You want to crash a plane? That's stupid. What are you, ignorant? I, I don't know. Anyway, guys, well, you know, he did it safely. I mean, you know, he did have that little tiny... Uh, fire extinguisher in his legs so you know yeah that would have really done something you damn fool so anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it and uh you know just take it with a grain of salt but remember this is all my opinion i am not an aircraft expert i which i had mentioned you know this is all my opinion. I do know a lot. I do know a lot about uh, internal combustion engines, and that's that's what I was trying to trying to put through. Is yes, this was definitely done on purpose. That engine did not fail, and I I I think the uh, FAA will find out that engine didn't fail if they can get their hands on it. I mean, you crash a plane, then you can just go remove it anytime you want before. You know, it's even investigated. I, I just don't understand it, why he can, he can get by with something like this. So, anyway, again, guys, Shea Bear, the Mr. Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Oh, excuse me. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, and take care.